Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? I've been thinking about a lot of the game, about the game, and uh, essentially what makes the, the game the game. Like what's an essential part and what's window dressing. And uh, as I've kind of alluded to before, um, a lot of this was inspired by my taking a look at the original versions, of, uh, a version of Dungeons and Dragons, and some of the retro clones. Um, and it kind of challenged my base assumption about like what's really necessary and what's kind of window dressing or, or house roll. Um, you know, how much can you take away and still make D and D D and D. Um, you know, having said that, you know, uh, over time we've added more and more stuff to the game, either for, for, you know via house rules or you know um, in, in the various published editions. Um, so, what if we took stuff away? Would it still be the game? And uh, I wanted to talk about the four core classes. You know, the fighter, magic user, cleric, and thief. And you know, are they all necessary? Um, and if you wanted to have a game or a campaign where you know one or two of those classes didn't exist, you know, could you do this? Is there is there a way to kind of uh, um, still make it work? You know, are they essential or not? Um, the most obvious class would be the thief, you know, to take away because that's the last guy to show up. Um, and a lot of people have argued against having thieves. And, you know, certainly um, I, I like them, but certainly the easiest way to uh, kind of um, handle something like that is to say, well, everybody can do those things, which a lot of people do anyway. Um, but maybe people can get better at them over time. Um, there's a, I might talk about this once or twice during this and repeat myself, but there's a, a guy that um, I saw his house rules for uh, for an, an OD&D game online. What he did was he kind of had, he didn't call them kits, he called them modules. So if uh, if you wanted to, uh, if you have a class, so you have or a fighter, but you want to have part of a cleric skill or part of a thief skill or, or whatever it was, you know, you could take an XP hit, you know, on any given level, you could you do this all the time. Or like, you know, if you're leveling from two to three, you decide you want to get better at stealth or whatever it is, or maybe you, you might want to be able to turn undead a little bit or have you be able to bless or cast some kind of spell. Um, you could do that, but you'd have to, you know, spend more XP to do that. So maybe you're kind of a holy warrior-ish type guy, or maybe you're, you know, a fighter that kind of sneaks around a little bit. Um, so that's kind of a way to handle that. Um, kind of dovetails into clerics. Do we really need them or not? You know, they uh, they were the third guy to show up. And they didn't show up, you know, to uh, because they uh, needed somebody to heal everybody's hit points, which is kind of what we tend to use them for a lot of times if we're not being imaginative. It's just making the cleric the kind of this, you know, the doctor that comes along. Um, but he showed up because, uh, you know, they invented the cleric because there was a vampire that was kind of uh, threatening to take over this whole campaign. They needed like a Von Helsing type character, um, you know. And some of the uh, things that I've seen is, you know, they've washed people could wash the cleric spells into the into wizard spell list, and whether there's a specialty wizard or not, you know. You know, that, that's a flavor that you may or may not just want to have. But the idea that, you know, um, maybe wizards can do these kind of things. Maybe they can commune with the guys if, if they want to. Maybe they can, you know, cast healing. Uh, maybe you can make healing available in other ways via potions. Or if you want to take the um, the mindset that hit points are, um, except for the last two or three or more, um, you know, fatigue or uh, the willingness to fight or whatever, maybe you can heal those faster overnight or, or what, you know, however that happens. Um, and you can handle that whatever way you want to. Um, and then what about magic users? You know, that gets a little dicier, but, um, you know, I, there, I've heard some good arguments for campaigns that are just all fighters or all fighters and thieves. And, you know, I, I kind of understand this because the idea is, is that, you know, wizards are more mysterious. Like, it's it's harder for you and I as real honest-to-God people um, that live in, you know, the real world to really imagine ourselves as a wizard. You know, we kind of can, but we really don't have any idea what that's really like. We know, we know how to fight, more or less. Um, you could probably beat me up, but you know we know how to sneak around, and steal stuff more or less. Um, but casting spells, all that kind of stuff, is getting weirder and weirder and outside of our realm of, of a real experience. Um, and so maybe you have a low magic, you know, gritty fantasy campaign where you know the wizards are just as mysterious as dragons and demons and elementals and all that sort of stuff. Um, and so that certainly can be fun. Um, I don't think you can get rid of fighters because I mean you know we kind of that's about as basic as you could possibly get. But I, I did really kind of like um, this guy's idea of, uh, he certainly wasn't the only one, of, of having some kind of method where if you wanted to have, you know, skills from another class, be it, you know, thieves or whatever, you know, maybe you could have your, your fighter just spend uh, some extra XP, you know, that, uh, you know, either every level or whatever level you want to, to kind of gain a little bit. So there's all kinds of ways you can do that. At the end of the day, I think I would probably still continue to use the four core classes, but it's an interesting experiment to kind of challenge your thinking, like, you know, do I really need this, you know, all the time uh, in every campaign or you know you know why do I need this extra class if you're if you're putting an extra class in do I really need to make it an extra class or if I want something that's ranger-esque or whatever is this some kind of little module or kit I can add and, and if somebody wants to be able to do those sort of things can they spend a little bit more for them just kind of food for thought uh, because I think you know overall less is more